meet Nabila Munib, a rising star in Moroccan politics. She is the leader of the leftist Unified Socialist Party, or PSU. During the election campaign, Munib has portrayed her party as the alternative for those abandoned by the political establishment. Party candidate Omar Balafraj says if elected to the parliament, he will make sure more money goes to worse performing sectors like education. Education should become a priority. Social things also, social areas should be a priority. Just go to any hospital in Morocco, you see it's a catastrophe. Political parties target young voters and many young people here say they want to have a bigger role in political decision making. They also want jobs. Unemployment, which officially stands at 10%, mostly affects university graduates. Youssef and his colleagues run the Moroccan organization, an NGO that calls for a change to labor market policies. So we tackle the main issues that are related to youth, uh, like unemployment. We provide them with practical uh, workshops uh, in order to increase their skills, but we also uh, send recommendations to the government in order to, to find the right solutions. Wissam Smaili says she hopes to see young people play an active role in political life to put more pressure on the government. I am an active person by nature, and my purpose is to help people to find jobs and to make, for my kids to be proud of me in the future. Hisham Eitwafi is graduating from a law school this summer. He says he's had enough of promises made by the political elite. Like many, he doesn't seem to be excited about the outcome of the election. He says governments come and go, but millions like him see little improvement to their living standards. Moroccans are looking for solid leadership to help solve the country's social and economic problems. But if voter turnout is below 50 percent, that would be seen as a sign people have lost faith in the main political parties. Hashim al-Barra, Al-Jazeera, Rabat.